This is a 2005 Fairline Squadron 58, and it's a boat I'm particularly interested to show you because it's quite a fascinating boat. In 2005, Fairline had two flybridge ranges. They had the Phantom Range, which were luxury flybridge boats, and then they had the Squadron Range. Now, the whole point of the Squadron Range was to imbue the boats with a kind of super yacht vibe, and they've done it with this really well. So I'm going to take you on board, give you the full tour, and explain to you exactly what I mean. Now, this has the extended platform. It's not a high-low platform on this, but it didn't have those so much in 2005. So that passerelle on the back, that would extend to give you stern to boarding in the med, but also it acts as a crane, so it'll lift a tender up, extend, and launch it. So that's how you get a tender on and off the bathing platform. But let's head on board, and let's take the full tour. Now, this one's for sale with Global Yacht Brokers. They very kindly organised the tour for me. They even have their own special mats. Look at that. And this is the cockpit area of this boat. Now, the thing that you're going to find on here, and the thing that impresses me the most, is the attention to detail. It's everywhere. So there are things like, you've got powered winches at the back for stern two berthing. But look at this. If we open this one, that is designed to be somewhere where your ropes, once you've used it, can be dropped in, put onto that, and closed away. And then over here, this is all space for all your cockpit gear, so cleaning gear, that kind of thing. And this one up here, the boat has got automatic electric bilge pumps, of course, but this is a manual backup bilge pumping system. So that handle pops into there, and you can direct which bilge from there. And these are the shutoffs for the fuel systems for the engines and the generator. And also it's got automatic fire extinguishing, but you can manually activate it from here as well. So that's like a safety cupboard where you're never going to put anything on top of it. It's always there, easy to get at. There's a lot to look at underneath here, but what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to head on inside, show you the interior of this fine ship, and then we'll, we'll work our way out. Now, straight away, I think you can pick up that super yacht vibe by the way they've done this seating. But particularly, look at the way they've done this woodwork. This is stunning. Really, really nice. You've got AV equipment in here, so Bose system that this boat has and the stereo system and then as we go across this is all racked out so it's not just shelves it's got these little stainless steel fillets on it's just details everywhere like that that just really lift the ambience and then that one again is more storage these are actually the instruction books are all kept in there for all the equipment on the boat now i'm going to show you the galley next because the galley has got something that i don't think I've ever seen on a boat before, and I bet you haven't either. So this is the galley area. There is a four burner ceramic hob up here at the front. The sink, of course, is underneath here, like so. And that's just a little draining one. And then on the other side is the fridge. That's in there and the combination oven and microwave and grill. But a thing that you won't have seen is this. This is an individual utility room. Now that in itself is pretty impressive, but the thing I want to show you down here is you've got the washing machine, you've got another fridge, you've got storage up along the top. These are just a couple of heaters that the owner keeps on board, so when they're not on the boat, they can put those in the cabin and just keep everything warm and dry and nice. That's always a good idea when you're leaving the boat. Check this out though. That, gonna guess? Three, two, no, you're wrong. That is an ironing board. <laughs> Amazing is that? So when you've done your washing, you can run the iron over. Remarkable. And the rest of that then is just storage underneath but again even in places like this look at the way this is all finished it's really nice okay let's head on out of here I'll show you the rest of the accommodation let's go back through this saloon area one thing you don't often see and I think it's actually a really good feature this is steps up to the flybridge, it's just internal access to the flybridge. Now there are big wooden treads that go on here. The owner of this one's taken them off to uh, give them a coat of varnish, keep everything nice. In fact, it's had quite a bit of refurbishment on this boat just to keep everything perfect. The owner is quite 
what's the polite word for obsessive? He's quite careful about the way that he looks after it. So, for example, all of these headlinings have been renewed because over time they tend to go just a little bit baggy. So they've all been changed and upgraded. This is a nice feature, these little handrails that they put into here. And that is the door, as I say, when it's got the wooden treads on, that steps up and out to the flybridge. We'll see that, of course, when we go on the outside of the boat. Dining area is here. Another feature I like very much. Again, it's all details, but look at that. Isn't that nice? So up here at the helm, you've got these two lovely Recaro style seats, very comfortable. And what is neat is that they split them, which means that if someone's at the helm and somebody wants to get to that seat, they don't have to climb over the other person. They can just come through the middle. And then you've got your multifunction display here, so radar charts, that sort of thing, so that the navigator can get to that easily. But you can also reach it from the helm. And the way this is all finished, again, I believe this has all been relined as well around here. And the windscreen, you might notice, is a bit opaque. That's because there's a mesh cover over that, and that's just to reduce UV damage of sunlight through onto the dashboard. So that's a very good idea to keep that on when a boat is not in use. What else have we got here? It's got bow and stern thrusters on this one. Engine controls, of course, are here, and the instrumentation across the front. And the other thing that we find here is a side access door out onto the side deck. Okay, let's head on down a little bit further. I love this lobby area as we come down here with this beautiful polished cherry wood. That looks fantastic. And if we go right forward, this will take us into the master bedroom. Very nice cabin. You've got these big skylights overhead that open so you can get plenty of ventilation in here. There is air conditioning throughout this boat as well. So it is med spec if somebody wants to take a boat like this to the med. It's all set up for that. Wardrobe in here, illuminated. And then this is all stored in places like this around the bed. It's got a Bose Hi-Fi system in here. And there's a TV up on the wall as well. And that's another wardrobe in behind and more storage, of course. And that is actually the air conditioning controls you can just see up next to the bed, at the head of the bed. And then the other thing you have in here is more storage down under the bed. All these great big drawers. So if you want to spend a few weeks on the boat, you're not short of space to put everything. But again, look at the detailing, the way that they've done this, this Alcantara finish and the polished wood. Looks fantastic. OK, now let's head on back. This has its own ensuite, so the fifth door is closed across. Again, I keep harking on about the details, but look at these door handles. Little works of art. This is the ensuite, so you've got a shower stall here. And obviously your toilet and your sink. I love the finish on this as well. That looks really nice. It's almost like a three-dimensional effect. And a big mirror. So I'll give it a little wave, as we always do. Let's head on back. And then further aft, you've got two guest cabins. So this one has two singles. Great for kids or adult guests, of course. Again, this detailing. Love all this. And these beautiful little reading lights above the bed and a bow system in here as well and you've got opening portholes this of course is all storage along here and then there's a big wardrobe which has got cushions in at the moment and beneath that then there are also drawers so that's one of the guest cabins. Across the other side is a second guest cabin. This one's got a double bed in it. That's a very nice cabin with a little dressing table there. Beautiful. And again, that quality of finish everywhere. That's really nice. And another wardrobe, same as the other side. Thusly. Now both of these share the day heads. That's in through here. Again, you've got the separate shower stall and the loo and the sink. But this one also has a door here, so you can connect directly through to that guest cabin. So if only two cabins are in use, they can be en suite. Or if all three are in use, then of course those two guest cabins share that one. Anyway, let's head on up 
and we will take a turn around the decks and I think we'll go out through this side door. Let me see if I can magic up my shoes. Perfect. So this takes us out onto the side decks so you can see they're all teaked all the way around. Again it's that kind of super yacht vibe and you've got sunbathing up here on the front and look at the quality of the stainless steel work. They've put these fender racks built into here. That's really good. The other thing it's got, you can see these little silver fellows dotted around. There's another one just down here. These are actually lighting. Again, it's another upgrade that's been added since the boat was built. So you've got low level lighting all the way around the decks at night. That's fantastic. In fact, it's also got underwater lights on it and the flybridge as well has been all set up with lighting too. But that is a very sexy looking boat, isn't it? That looks great. Okay, let's carry on down this side. We're going to take a look on the flybridge and there's a couple of other areas to show you, including the engine space, of course. So we'll come back in through here. Enjoy a little bit of music from the next door boat. And this will take us around back into the cockpit, of course. And then these treads take us up to the flybridge. These are the switches up here for those deck lights and underwater lights and that kind of thing. You can see those deck lights again, dotted around everywhere. So at night, this is all gently illuminated. That must look fantastic. And up here again, it's got that super yacht vibe because you haven't got a radar arch. What you've got is this sort of, almost like a mast type situation here. That's got the Ray Marine radar on it, of course. Navigation lights are up there, horns, that kind of thing. And these stainless steel bars are for a bimini top, so you can get some shade up here if you want to. And what we've got up here, of course, is the helm station. You've got adjustable helm seat in the centre. Your Raymarine instrumentation is repeated up here. And that is that internal access. So you can come up these stairs from inside and straight out onto this area. This, I think, is a particularly nice setup because you've got sunbathing on the front and you can sit with your back against here when the boat's cruising down the coast. Beautiful view out over the front and you're sheltered by the screen all the way around. That'd be a really lovely place to sit on a day out today when you're motoring gently down the coast. That'd be fabulous. What else have we got on here? There's more seating on this side. This is a lift up section so you can have this with that in place as a forward facing seat or you can just drop that into different positions actually like so or all the way down and then just behind that we've got sink up here that's an ice chest and then underneath here is the barbecue and then behind this area there's a really lovely seating area around this table. And again, look what they've done this, they've edged this all in teak. Very, very nice. That's a great area. Beautifully done. Let's go and have a look at the engine space. There's also a crew cabin. We'll have a look in there as well. Okay, so we'll head on back down. Crew cabin access is underneath this one. So we'll just move that out of the way and then we can lift this fella and here we go. Now of course this is a sub 60 foot boat so it's not the sort of size you would normally have full time crew. So this is just an occasional use really but actually it's a pretty good size in here. Let's come right down in I can show you properly. So there's a toilet compartment down at the end. This slides over and they've got two single berths in here. What this would be absolutely brilliant for is a couple of teenagers who want to get away from the main party. But as I say, if you have a skipper for occasional use or something like that, that would work as well. Okay, let's go and check out the engines. Worth noting that this is also air conditioned in here as well. You can see the controls for it. So the last thing to look at is the engines. So we'll drop that one back down and pop that back on. There we go. You'll see, in fact, there's a removable section here. That's so that you can take that out if you are stern two berthed in the med. 
With the canopy off, of course, you've got a straight walk through onto that passerelle then to get ashore. This one is a lazarette. So that's just a huge storage void. All the canopies are in there at the moment. Fenders, that kind of thing. And ahead of that, engine access. Okay, let's go and have a look. Now these are a pair of Volvo Penta D12 715 engines. So they are 715 horsepower each. They're going to give the boat about 30 knots flat out thereabouts, depending on load and conditions and so on. Cruising there for 20 to 25 knots and you've probably got about a 300 mile range at fast cruising speeds. Obviously you'll do a lot more if you drop the speed right back. And these are conventional shaft drives so the engines are tilted down slightly at the back gearboxes are on the back end and then you can just about see the shafts running back down underneath here which transmit the power down to the propellers. So nice simple system, nice big engines and well lit too actually and all that silver stuff on the ceiling that's all sound deadening. Keep it nice and refined when the boat's running and you're inside. Excellent! Okay So I think we'll close that one back down and we'll finish off in this beautiful interior. This looks like a comfy spot. So I'd like to say thank you very much to Global Yacht Brokers who organised that. I'll put a link in the description to those guys so you can find the details of this one. And of course to the owner who kindly made this boat available for me. And thank you to you of course for watching. If you've not subscribed, hit that little bell and hit the button. We've got lots more great stuff coming and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.